What's up guys, Matt with Bleepin' Jeep here. Everything off-road, none of the boring stuff. Today I have quite a bit of an issue. I've got this wheel lock right here, but I don't have a key for it. So today I've got three ideas of ways to remove it, and we'll start with the most non-invasive and work our way up until it's gone. Let's get started. So long story short, I bought this Jeep brand new last year when they first came out. Um, I didn't have any reason to take the, the spare tire off until the other day when I went to upgrade the wheels and tires. And underneath here, this was kind of covered by this uh, backup camera. And lo and behold, there's some sort of key lock on here. I take it to the Jeep dealership and the first question they asked me was, who installed your lift as they roll their eyes? <laughs> Why that pertains to this, I have no idea. Um, that's, that's another story in itself. But anyway, they basically told me, F you, we're not gonna help you, go deal with it yourself. So that's where we are today. So let me show you my first idea. So this is my first idea. Check this out, this is a socket, but not just a regular socket. It's one of those universal sockets, and the idea here is that it has pins, and it will fit any size nut or bolt. So, you take this and you put it on a bolt, just like you would a regular socket. Those pins push in, and it's supposed to conform to any size nut or bolt. What do you think? Is that going to work? Let's go give it a shot. So, as I expected, it's not big enough. This is the biggest universal one that I could find, and it's uh, 21 millimeters. And it won't go over that, but I had an idea. Will it go over this one? And it does, so this is a different kind of key. I do have a key for this, but I just wanna test this theory and see if it would work on this type. Oh, that's on there, good. Okay, so now we've created another problem. This is either going to break or it's going to come loose. Ah. Hey, we got it. I just needed more leverage. All right, not ideal as it kind of screwed everything up, but it did work if you have one of these smaller key locks. Pretty much toast. So 10 bucks, you get one lug nut out of it. My next idea is to take this socket, which doesn't quite fit over there, and grind some angles onto this key until it fits this socket. It would be so much easier if this camera wasn't here, but it is, so we gotta figure that out somehow. First thing I'm gonna do is wrap it all in tape to try to keep from ruining the wheel or this camera. Okay, so the tool I've chosen to use is an air die grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. It's pretty much the only way I can get to the top of that thing. And I'm just going to take my time and try to cut six sides. Socket has six sides. And I don't need to take off much because it almost fits on there. So I just need to take a little bit off on all six sides. Let's give it a shot. Check it out, I cut six sides. It only took me about a minute. And I started daydreaming 
and I cut the dang wheel and it sucks because I was on the very last cut and it was it was either cut the camera or cut the wheel and I probably could have ground off the blade and gotten it smaller but it just wouldn't really fit in there so I accidentally did that but anyway this fits on there it's sort of loose let's see if it'll come off oh yeah <laughs> I got it Woo. that's totally awesome and totally sucks at the same time that I cut the wheel and it also sucks that the dealership wouldn't help me out even though they sold me a new Jeep without the key and it wasn't on all the other tires it was only on this one on the spare tire on the back so you may be wondering what my third option was going to be well you're in luck because I put it back and I'm going to show you what I would have done if that didn't work first thing you need to do is make sure that it's metal or steel and then what I'm going to do is take a smaller socket and we're gonna weld it to that yes you're gonna need to have a welder that's why I saved it for last because some of you may not have one but if you did you'd find a friend who had a welder or whatever and we're gonna weld that to it and then we'll have a place right here to put a wrench and spin it off Whoa. Probably should have done that first and I wouldn't have cut my wheel. Oh well, live and learn. And it's tempting to grab that, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. Alright guys, so what other methods are there? Did I miss any? Is there something else you would have tried? Leave your comments down below. I'd like to hear them. And while you're on that subject, let me hear your horror stories from the dealership. I'd like to know that I'm not the only one. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe as well and hit that bell. I'd love it if you'd hit that bell. Please just hit the bell. Please do that for us. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.